In New York, we have a midtown, a downtown, and once a year in February, a toy town. The North American International Toy Fair at the Javits Center is the biggest of its kind in the Western Hemisphere. But before you say, oh, that's just for kids, think again. The opposite's true. Buyers from all over the world are here with an eye on what to fill the shelves with next Christmas, not necessarily just for children, but adults too. Some of my earliest memories are Christmas morning, lying on the floor, building sets. Lego sets, that is. Cody Pope is a Lego collector. As a kid, he had thousands of little plastic bricks all over his mum and dad's basement. A ping pong table set up with the city. We had a pool table set up that was the Pirates. And then I had another set of tables that was castle themed. Now, toy makers like Lego have people like Cody in their sights. They know nostalgic themes like Harry Potter, Star Wars and Jurassic Park are aimed at kids and big kids who remember the movies the first time round. It's the 60th anniversary of the Lego brick this year, and the only way that we can innovate and stay relevant for kids today is to ensure that we are bringing new things back to this brick every single year so that it feels fresh and relevant for them. Jackie Retzer speaks for the Toy Association, which puts on the New York Toy Fair every year. She says the idea of appealing to kids through their mums and dads has been building for a while, but this year they're seeing it as a big trend. She calls it millennial nostalgia. Millennials are the majority of parents in the United States today, and they are having children. Uh, they're known as a very tech-savvy generation, obviously, but with their kids, they really want to unplug. They want to have what they played with when they were kids and share it with their children. Back in his Manhattan apartment, Cody displays his Lego according to the seasons. Halloween castle, right? Um, and I put that up at Halloween, and I build it every year and tear it down, build it every year and tear it down. Or, or there's a couple different Christmas sets, so I have a Christmas train that I put up every year. And as all Manhattan apartments are tiny, so Cody's lucky his hobby is on a small scale. And the women of NASA said, perfect for a small apartment. Yes, exactly. This is, you don't want, you want your space shuttle to be really tiny, because if it's too big, you can't put it in your apartment, right? <laughs> and Cody's convinced the trend seeking toys with retro themes will continue for generations of kids, big ones and little ones, to come. John Terrett, CGTN, New York.